Ever since Hytale was announced, people have been wondering what's going to be in the game. Today, I just wanted to go over a few ideas for things that I want to be in the game personally. A sort of wish list, if you will. With that said, if you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to drop a like and leave a comment down below, because it always helps. Also, be sure to subscribe and click that notifications bell so that you get notified after every single upload. For starters, the first thing that I want in the game is tameable ambient mobs. I really like the feel and the aesthetic of all the ambient mobs that they've showed so far, and I'd really like them to be tameable just because, one, they're cute, and two, I think it would add a lot of a lot of personality to the game. I really just want a tamed penguin though, so that I can name him Caesar, but that's just me. Second thing that I really want is rideable raptors. I heard someone say it online, and I've been thinking about it, and I just think it's the most badass thing ever. I would love to ride into battle against a bunch of like void spawn or something, riding a freaking raptor. Like that sounds like the coolest thing ever. Please make it happen. Uh, Another thing I want, lots of enemy variety. I've always loved uh, plentiful enemy variety in games. It's it's one of the main reasons that I'm a, such a big fan of Doom Eternal. I, I love how it adds a lot of like intricate mechanics to the game. You have to kind of work around each enemy's like movement patterns and like their attacks and stuff, and you really have to like learn each enemy. And I think that. Hytale would really benefit from that. It would add a lot of like interest, like it in you know variety. For variety is really the most important thing that I'm going for here, and I think that large enemy variety would really benefit that. Next up, we've got floating islands in Zone Five. When I think of lightning, which like we know is going to be the element for Zone Five, I think of floating islands for some reason because I guess like storms and stuff. So. There's probably going to be a lot of clouds, but I think it'd be really cool to have a sort of floating island area with, like, cool lightning crystals jutting out of the ground. That'd be really cool, really hard to explore, too, which I guess it would make sense since it's presumably a late-game area. So I think that'd be pretty cool. I, I know a couple other people are speculating that that's what it's going to look like. And if you look at the zone concept art, you can kind of see that the clouds that are covering that zone are like a little bit higher than the other ones. So that might be like some extra evidence to the theory that zone five is going to have floating islands, but I don't know. I'm, I'm probably just, it's probably just wishful thinking on my part, but again, fingers crossed. One of the main things that I want in Hytale is non-linear armor progression. Like, some armor sets are better at one thing than another. There isn't, like, a definitive best, right? Think of, think of like, Terraria armor sets, how they have, like, the four classes, and each of them are good at their own specific thing. There's not one class of armor that's, like, the definitive best. Of course, like, you'll get, like, crappy armor at the start, and then you'll advance to, like, better sets of armor as the game progresses but I don't want there to just be, like in Minecraft, how it goes, like the same tier list of armor every every time, right? Like, I don't want it to just go, like, leather to, like, iron to diamonds to netherite or whatever, right? I, I want it to kind of branch out so that you can explore some more horizons. I think that'd be really nice, and it'd benefit the game a lot. I also think variants in flora and, like, plants and stuff would be pretty nice. It, it would just make the game look nicer overall. We saw a glimpse of it in the underground jungles of Zone 4, how there's like a lot of cool mushrooms and a lot of cool plants and stuff, and I'm a big fan of that personally, and I'd love to see more of it. Speaking of Zone 4, I think giant bees would be pretty cool, right? Maybe not like Minecraft bees, but more like the hornets from Terraria. They'd be a really interesting enemy for Zone 4, and their size could tie in with the whole prehistoric fantasy vibe. Also, making the bio... Uh, Sorry, making them bioluminescent would be kind of cool too, and maybe like a boss fight between like the the queen bee or something would be interesting. It's probably not going to happen though because we've already got Skerrix confirmed for Zone Two, so they probably don't want to have more like insect creatures. But I, it's it's at least possible. And continuing with the Zone 4 theme, I'd love to see ambient lizards, like salamanders and stuff, that walk around on the surface of, like, the lava section. 
and then maybe like some that dwell in the jungle and whatever. I think that'd be cool. And we've already got like dinosaurs, which are just giant lizards basically. So like it's totally in the realm of possibilities. And if they're bioluminescent, that's even better. I love bioluminescent stuff. It looks super cool. So I'd, I'd totally love to see a lot more of that in game. Now coming to playable races. The main thing I want to see for like a playable race is something related to Void. Like I really like the Void aesthetic that Hypixel Studios is going for with like all of the the Varen mobs and stuff. And I'd love to see something like that as a playable race. I saw a post on I think the Hytale subreddit. I'll put it up on screen here uh, and I'll give credit and all that. It was for a Voidling. I really liked how that looked, and I think that it's not, it's not like loud enough per se, of like about the Void theme to like be an enemy, but like it, it's still like cool looking enough to like be like a playable race. If that makes sense, I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm rolling with it. Something else I think would be cool for the caves is fell bats, or like some kind of like big scary version of bats. Maybe like an undead variant that can like fly around in Zone 4's ghost forest or something. But we've already seen bats in the game, but like they're probably going to be like an ambient or like a passive mob. Maybe neutral at best, but I'd love to see like some kind of big scary bat. That'd be pretty terrifying to run into in like a deep cave. You're like mining for ores or whatever, and then this giant bat just runs out and attacks you. That'd be that'd be cool. That'd be fun. I would love that. I'd also love to see just flying undead enemies in general. Like we've seen we've seen some undead enemies, mostly like skeletons. We've seen some zombies and stuff. And in Zone Four, in the Ghost Forest, we've seen an undead dog. I think, I think a flying variant of some kind of undead mob would be really cool, and I think it would kind of add to that whole category of mobs a lot more. And talking about the ghost forest, some, like, they, they mentioned in the ghost forest that there's going to be, quote, pale dangers, like, occupying the woods. I think ghosts of some kind would be really cool, um, mainly, like, if they are immune to physical damage. Because if you think about it, like, if if you're a ghost, like, sword, swords and stuff aren't really going to hurt you. So maybe they can only be hurt by, like, magic damage, or maybe they're afraid of light or something. I think Hypixel Studios can do a lot of cool stuff with that. Now, in terms of, like, I guess classes, I think a summoner class would be kind of cool. We saw, like, hints at, like, magic, and we saw, like, rangers and all that stuff. I think summons would be pretty awesome. Although, I don't see them as being super likely, especially if there's a taming system in-game, because then you can get, like, summonable minions and then, like, tameable, like, beasts or whatever. So, you might just be able to build a small army that's a little too overpowered for the game, but I definitely think that they can make it work, maybe with, like, void magic or something. Like, maybe you can, like, resurrect skeletons from the dead or something like that and have them fight for you in dungeons. Now, one of the main things that I want that's a little bit nitpicky, I want enemies to be able to spot you from a distance. Like, one of my main issues with Minecraft is that the enemies have kind of a hard time seeing you from more than around 20-ish blocks away. And it, it kind of breaks my immersion a little. They Like, instead of having a, like, a cone of sight the enemies in that game just have like a radius so it's not very immersive when you actually do get spotted by an enemy so I, I would I would greatly appreciate it if Hytale would have some sort of like vision cone system for their enemies that has like a little bit of distance to it because it would just make the whole experience a lot more immersive and it would just it, it would just make everything feel better also, if they're adding vision cones, there's an opportunity to have, like, a really cool stealth mechanic in the game where you can, like, sneak around enemies. Maybe, like, a rogue class where you, like, do more damage at night or something, or, like, you can do surprise attacks that inflict double damage. Uh, I'm just spitballing ideas. One of the things I know a lot of people want, though, is some form of redstone or wiring. 
Like, redstone was like a leading component to Minecraft's success, and it led to like a lot of creations by players and ridiculous leaps and innovations throughout the, the game's lifespan. So, I think it's safe to say we probably haven't even scratched the surface of what's possible with redstone, especially with the cave update, adding like a form of wireless redstone soon, which opens the door for even more possibilities. I, I think the most likely way we'll see something like this added is in Zone 5, which we know is based off of lightning. Electricity and wiring make sense with each other for kind of obvious reasons, so if we're going to see some variant of redstone, Zone 5 is probably where it will be. And we already saw in the trailer that there's some kind of wiring. I don't know if that's like a cinematic only tool, because that's, that's the section that they showed it off with, but... I think we'll probably be seeing it in like the base adventure mode um, and I'm, I'm really excited to see what people are going to do with that. Something else I think would be really cool is some kind of ocean dwelling faction like mermaids or something. As far as we know we've only got like two-ish factions per zone uh, like we, we don't know if there's going to be more or less in like other zones but we, we know at least in three zones there's two factions. Although the devs stated that the ocean is sort of an outlier to this in the sense that it's not actually a real zone, but it's kind of like its own experience. So we're probably not going to be seeing factions like that in the ocean, but I, I do think maybe for a post launch update, they should add some sort of intelligent life down there. It would just make exploring the ocean a lot more worth it in my opinion. Though I totally intend on exploring the oceans anyways. But I think that'd be cool. It'd add a lot more depth to the ocean, pun intended. And I would, I would greatly enjoy that. One thing I don't want, though, is tameable or rideable dragons. I think this would be crazy OP. And I, I've seen a lot of people throwing this idea around, and I just really don't like it. I think the idea of rideable dragons would, like, totally take away from the base game experience. Because, like... They're hulking monstrosities that probably have a ton of health, and we know that they have flight capabilities. So that alone would make them kind of overpowered, and I, I think that it would kind of just diminish like the actual experience of the game. I think we can probably come to a sort of compromise, though. Maybe in Zone 5 or something. I'm Again, I'm just spitballing here. Maybe in Zone 5 there can be like wyverns that are like weakened versions of dragons, maybe like smaller forms of dragons that are tameable and rideable. That way players still have like a flying mount to get around, which would be kind of nice, but at the same time they don't have like the hulking monstrosity that is a dragon, because again, I think that'd be way too overpowered. One thing I, I do want that's not actually a gameplay mechanic per se, I want more information on the quote far lands, as some people are calling them. Basically, the infinitely generated lands that happen beyond uh, the main island of the game. I want to know mainly like if the terrain generation is any different from like the main island there. I, I just want like screenshots of the world map basically, so I can just kind of pick out like how the terrain works but I guess that's just a me thing it's not a huge deal but I, I, I just want to get more information on that lastly the last thing on my wish list I want a second trailer and continued blog posts after launch and this is this is kind of a big one I I'm really really excited for the game and I would love to see a second trailer I, I know the devs have been holding off on blog posts for a while which a lot of people think is implying that they're building up to something big and honestly I agree with that I I'm really hoping that that's going to culminate in a second trailer so I can make like one a reaction video on that because I think that'd be pretty fun and two it would generate a lot of hype for the game when it's coming up on the release which we know is this year um, and the second part of that, I want continued blog posts after launch. I always found the blog posts, like, really interesting, and I, like, I, I love reading them. It gives you kind of, like, a behind-the-scenes look at, like, how the game is made, and you get to, like, know more about, like, the devs and, like, their process of, like, making the game, and I always found it really interesting. So maybe, like, post-launch we can get, like, some more in-depth, like, behind-the-curtain looks at how the game was developed, because, like, 
at that point they won't have to hold anything back for spoilers so maybe we can get like a more detailed description of like how certain mechanic uh, mechanics got added into the game which I personally would find really interesting uh, maybe even like teases at like future updates too I, I think that that would be pretty cool well, with that said, that concludes my Hightail wishlist. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can expect more content like this in the future as we lead up to the eventual release of the game. So if you guys like this kind of content, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below because it always helps. Uh, and if you're not subscribed to the channel already, be sure to do that and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a video. If you want to watch my Twitch, I will link it in the description. I stream normally on Fridays at around 8 p.m. EST, give or take 30 minutes. I also sometimes stream on Saturdays, especially if I didn't have like enough time to stream on Fridays. I'll be streaming on Saturdays normally. But yeah, so you guys can catch me there. And I fully intend on streaming Hytale when it comes out. So you can, you can ready yourselves for some of that. <laughs> With that said, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.